Hey guys, what's up? It's Quentin aka Husky Mike Tips here, and uh, before I get started, I'd like to say a few things as I've done on previous videos. Um, first thing, numero uno. Um, I know I said I wouldn't get another video up today, and this is like my third video today, but my other couple went up really fast, and then there was that one that only took me like half an hour, and I was really happy about that. So, I decided I'd make an actual full episode Let's Play thing, and I wanted to show you guys a couple cool things. Um, people are asking, what's a cobblestone farm, or how do I make glass? So, here we, here we go, and I'm sorry for making that funny voice, like I didn't mean to insult you. If you asked what a cobblestone farm is, it's not like it's the most common known thing. But uh, first, we're going to start with how to make glass. Alright, here we go. Take sand. Kaboom. Kaboom. Watch. Watch. It's going to make some glass. And it takes a while. And I've had to use, like, a lot of stacks of this. But, you know, it's worth it. So I don't really care about that anymore. I'm just going to put these four on there. Okay. So there we go. That's how you do that, Delio. Why did I still click that? Anyways, as you can see, we got some stuff going on up top of our uh, floating island there. Um, first, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of our... Oh, fudge. I forgot to make myself a pick. I almost said something else inappropriate. But first, I'm going to show you guys the cobblestone farm. Because lots of people actually didn't know what that is. And I really didn't know what it was until about... Ooh, I don't know how many whiles ago. It wasn't that long ago, but I actually didn't know what a cobblestone farm was, so here we go, guys. We're going to make ourselves a pick first. We'll make ourselves two, actually, just to be badass. No, a little bit of B-anus never, never hurt anybody except except badass Joe. He got hurt a lot for being B-A. Just a second, I have a can here in my way. Getting way too excited, throwing shit all over the place, hitting stuff, smacking it right in the face. Oh, my God. Holy Jesus. Anyways, guys, um, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing. I think today we went up almost, like, 300 subscribers, and that is just unbelievable to me. I, I swear to God, you guys are the coolest. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who comments and likes and, you know, does all that cool stuff on my videos, and I just fell, ow, do I, have any f I don't have any food on me, that's dangerous. But I'd like to thank everybody who has been commenting, liking, uh, favoriting, uh, subscribing, etc., and I think my, like, whatever they're called, those things that work, or that live here too, roommates, they're being loud, anyways, this is our cobblestone farm area, basically we go in here, this is kind of like an output vein area, I probably should make that come out more just to make it look better, pull like one of these, do, now we can't like, well you can kind of walk on the water, but not that much, anyways, we go over here, and as you see, there's a, a block of lava there. And because the lava flows out, when it contacts this flowing water, cobblestone is formed, and then it's an infinite kind of process. Now, sometimes the cobblestone doesn't like to fall down. So what you have to end up doing is, uh, like, moving a little close. But it's still infinite cobblestone. But here you can see that cobble... Yeah, there we go. If you miss any... Cobblestone comes out here. There you go. You can pick it up. Pretty cool, huh? Um, it's a pretty easy design. Basically, you just kind of make... Uh, this is actually kind of hard to explain. But the roundabout idea is that you put three blocks up top of water, allow it to flow downward, and then cut a hole in the wall too deep, put your lava at the back, and then it'll flow out, make cobblestone, your stuff will fall down there. This is kind of a weird design. It's You have to figure out how far your water's going to fall. Like, if I was to make this one block higher, it probably would have been a bit better, because then my uh, water would have flown a block shorter or something like that. But yeah, it's, it's decent right now. And this is the beginning of our little guest house and home, really. Um, I believe I'm going to add another floor for like the master bedroom, but as it stands, we have this layout for the rooms. I'm going to be putting a small bed like that, kind of like facing this way, then a treasure chest right there or something, and torches and maybe a painting or two, and this is basically how they all are. And you have clusters of four, nice little hallway here, you can put torches at the end, whatever. And then here's a little kind of pool, it's an infinite water source, basically you can grab it from anywhere. and it re it'll replenish itself and then we have our other four rooms then right next door we have our tree farm because I wanted to have a tree farm up here so I wouldn't have to go down to our uh, original base to get 
you know, some stuff. And anyways, I think I overcrowded this, but the trees are growing. I just need to cut out the uh, leaves every so often and allow it to grow. Because I believe the uh, trees, the saplings, need three spaces above them to grow. So maybe I should have made it like three by three for space or something like that, like I did with my original. But so far it's doing all right. It's just need to do this every so often, kind of do some pruning. Um, yeah, I won't be putting the save file with this one because everything's uncompleted and whatnot. I did put it with the previous video though because I felt that if you guys wanted to, you could definitely create your own little thing. I I made a nice little flat surface for everybody. It's nice in the air. You can even expand on it, which you probably want to because it's not really that big. I'm actually going to have to expand on this one because I do not have enough room. I want to create a lot of things up here, so I'm just going to have to expand uh, out towards the sea more and uh, to the left and right away from my main base just due to the fact that I don't have enough room. So yeah, that's kind of interesting, this, this whole area. I'm just kind of talking while I'm pruning. You should never do that. It could hurt your fingers with this block of glass. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I put torches here beside, or two torches beside every tree, and that creates enough light so that these trees can actually grow during the night. And that's how, I think it's been like two game days or something like that, and I have a huge abundance of trees in here, you can see. And if I wanted some sticks, all I'd have to do is come through and just do some, you know, cut down some trees. And then boom, we'd have sticks, and I'd be able to do cool stuff and, like, make stuff and stuff. Which is a lot of st stuff. Or stuff. I don't know. Anyways, the one bitch about this is that if the trees grow out, then they do that. They they replace the gra gra uh, 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 they replace the glass with their uh, with their leaves. So that that can get to be a bitch. I probably should have made them more in. And what's with me in this profanity? Like holy pickles, holy pickles indeed, Quentin. And I'm thinking of making like a a minecart thing that goes from here to my original house, straight up top there. Because I do have a huge abundance of iron. I think I have 64 plus like 57 or something. And I still need to finish this. Like this underwater fortress or underwater thingy. I don't know guys. I have so many unfinished projects it's a joke. And then I also have that really old place that I found. It was kind of with all those arches and whatnot. The idea that I was going to use for that was I was going to uh, smelt some cobblestone to make smooth stone. And then I would make it look as though there weren't arches or caves there. And I'll show you guys what smooth stone looks like. It just looks like that. Basically, you take your cobblestone, you place it in there, and it smelts to smooth stone, which is pretty helpful. Um, yes, yeah, so this has been kind of a quick little update, how to do stuff, what to do, that kind of stuff video. And a big thank you to everyone who's been subscribing and whatnot. Uh, my videos, like, it's unbelievable how fast we're growing guys and I'm saying we're growing because you guys are just as much involved in this as I am if not more you guys are definitely a huge part and I'm missing some trees here yeah right there I need some saplings Yeah, you guys are definitely a huge part of this like I obviously couldn't do it without you but you know I I just like to thank everyone who has been a part of this whole channel experience with me um, I'm actually I know this sounds kind of weird. I'm trying to. You guys know what the game station is? It's a, uh, it's a program run by a bunch of the biggest video game commentators like uh, Husky Starcraft, who I'm a huge fan of, um, Dodger, aka Press Hard to Continue. Uh, there's uh, Chugga Conroy, who makes a lot of amazing let's plays. Like I'm really impressed by him. I doubt I'd be half the let's player of, you know, him on those kind of games. He's just so awesome and random with it. I love it. Um, I can't really think of the other guys right now, and I'm really sorry for that. But there are a huge number of awesome guys on there. So you guys should definitely go check out that and maybe, you know, drop a comment saying you definitely think that Husky Mudkip should be a part of it. Like, you know, you never, you never know what you can do. Maybe maybe we can influence them enough to be like, huh, this guy, Husky Mudkips, he uh, has the same similar name as one of our guys, so he must be cool. And, you know, maybe get me on there. and We could grow our community and, you know, get some new people and I've just been singing Dean Martin all day today I've been so happy with you with 
with everything that's been going on, getting a huge amount of subscribers, uh, getting comments, rates, likes, etc. Like it, it helps out. It makes me feel awesome. It makes me want to do these videos a lot more. Like right now, I'm procrastinating from doing my homework because you know I have I only have one class tomorrow. But I'm procrastinating because I just want to you know talk to you guys, comment. Uh, if you guys have a question or whatever, I try and answer it. I made that tutorial video. I know it wasn't too helpful to some of you because you have uh, Windows 7 and you guys are having issues like extracting or something like that. I, I really couldn't understand the question that was going on there. But I tried to help. It was kind of just a general Vista thing. But, you know, I hope... Oh my god, I almost fell in my cobblestone factory. No, I hope you guys continue liking my videos. And, uh... Yeah, this has been another quick little let's play thank you uh, tour. I'm going to maybe try and fix up that a little bit more, and we'll see what happens. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Husky Mudkips, and I'll see you later.